Last night we watched uh, Wagoners. Did I say that right? <laughs> we probably don't say a lot, right? <laughs> Watched uh, Seattle Boat Show and Wagoner put on a weekly webinar on Thursday nights to talk about what's open. Now that things are opening back up, the San Juan Islands are open. I don't think the Islanders are that interested in seeing boaters. We're not planning to go to any towns at all, but we're going to check out the marine parks, uh, anchor out, and enjoy the San Juans for a week. So we're headed north. We're leaving Shulshul Bay Marina. We're exiting the north end of the marina. Usually we exit the, the south end but it's a, it's a good change. It feels good to be going north. It's Friday afternoon. We're getting a bit of a late start. It's 1.30 in the afternoon. I had to work this morning. We should get to Wapmouth probably about 8.30 tonight. So we'll anchor there, we'll have dinner, and then uh, tomorrow we'll probably head to the north end of the islands, likely Susha Island, or uh, we may try something new. You never know. We got a few hours to think about it on the ride up. Non-stop service to Wapmouth Bay. Okay. Coming right up in eight hours. <laughs> To take full advantage of the next eight hours underway, Sean decided to wash and iron our sheets and put the bed back together. Making the bed isn't the easiest task on board Freedom, but it sure beats scrubbing the hull or some of the other things on his upcoming project list. Elizabeth on watch, what are you up to? What do you do during your watch? Oh, I listen to the news. <laughs> thought about putting some music on, but then I figured I would see what's going on in the world, which is probably a, a bad decision. But today seems a little more positive, and the weather's beautiful, and it's calm, so... Is the radar picking something up? No, you don't see a little uh, red dot that'd be uh, three quarters of a mile ahead into the starboard. The sailboat over there that I've had my eye on. Yeah. Yeah, it's a nice, clear day. I if it wasn't clear, and you saw that, what would be your course of action? To probably steer more to port. What's uh, our ETA? Our ETA is 1002 p.m. Yeah? We are slowed up a bit. There's a little bit of current, or a lot of current. What? Five and, five and a half, five point seven knots right now. How do you know the tide's going up? Um, because of Rising. Yep. What does that say? Five and a half feet. Rising five. Is that what that is? Five and a half? Five and a half feet and rising. If you were curious to see how high it was going to go, what would you do? Press on it? Yep. I think you have to press and hold. Oh. And a little circle pops up like that. And then. Measure? No. Uh, in info, I think. Oh, info. And then it's already on tide, so if you press the center of the rotary knob to like enter. No. Uh, there we go. If you take the rotary knob, you can rotate it, and that red knob will, or the red line will move, so you can find out exactly when that when that high tide is going to be. So about 5.53, 6, yeah. 6 o'clock tonight. And it'll be 10 and a half feet, right? So that we're going to gain five more feet yeah. over the next uh, the next two and a half, three hours. And is that that minus tide that you were talking about the last time? Yeah, that's actually a minus below yeah. zero. Last night the moon looked pretty big, so I'm guessing there's some moon action going on. That could be. Do you want to know what the status of the moon is? Hit the button that says Pages, right by the rotary knob. Uh, hit it one more time. 
and then take the rotary knob and go to sun and moon, which is down on the bottom left. And I then didn't even know we had that. press in on the center of the knob. Wow, who knew? Yeah, so that's uh, That's so cool. That's a full moon, 100%. Or it says phase. Wow. And the moon's gonna rise at 9:22, so we might, uh, if it's clear tonight, we might have kind of a cool set. Okay. And there's uh, when the sun's gonna set, 9:05. And up at the top, that's the date. You can obviously, you know, select any date you want. Well, it's good. Temperature around 190 or something. Yep. Cool. Oil and then uh, our alternator would be charging the volts if it's anything higher than say 12 and a half it should be ideally upper 13s or 14-ish. Yep, it's right at 14. Cool. I'll let you uh, keep watching. After enjoying a nice sunset cruise to Watma Bay for the night, we were back on the water early the next day en route to Susha Island. Known for its emerald waters, sandstone formations, and incredible trails, Susha Island is a special gem within the San Juan Islands. Originally known as Isla Susia, or Dirty Island, Susha was given this name by the Spanish explorers in the late 1700s because of its rocks and navigational obstacles. However, this island is anything but dirty. To the beach. Yeah, are you excited, buddy? Hold on, buddy. Hold on, I know. Water gets this high. <laughs> so remember that thing about anchor scope? Yeah. All right. So if the water was this high, all right. see how when you pull on the anchor on a shallow angle, you can pull pretty hard. You can almost support my weight. If it was sand or something, you probably could. But if your road was a lot shorter and your boat was here, I'd be like, bloop. Just pulls out real easy. Yeah. See, I can't even get it to reset either. But when I let it on my line, it'll dig right in on its own. That's a good little anchor 101 from Captain Sean. Uh oh. Walk towards Fossil Bay. Yeah. Feels good to be back at Susha Island. It's a little sad though, the last time we were here was Labor Day with some friends and Sandy was with us, running around, having a great time. So, 
sad. Isn't that sad not to be here? Yeah. Not to have her with us here. She liked it here. She loved Susha. These trails are amazing. She got to swim. And a lot of you guys have asked about Sandy if you didn't know that she passed away before Christmas. And we really appreciate you guys asking about her. She's still very much with us on board and she was an awesome boat dog. And little Sully misses his sister and he does want another sibling at some point once we're ready. Still kind of feel like we're sliding Sandy a little bit. But we'll see. Also still working on him. <laughs> we'll know when it's time. So this is Fossil Bay? Yeah. And there's yeah. a dock over there, right? This is Fossil Bay. And then the other side of the island, there's two bays. There's Shallow Bay, and I forget the name of the one right across from Fossil Bay. Do you remember it? No. Hi, Don. Hello? Hello? With over 800 acres and 10 miles of groomed trails to explore, there's no question why Susha Island is considered one of Washington State's finest marine parks and a world-class boating destination. Just chilling at the point. Pretty crazy current. Wow. So there's an eagle right back in that tree. And when we were pulling in about an hour ago, I counted 10 eagles flying above Fossil Bay and in the between Fossil Bay and Echo Bay. And it's just incredible in the last couple of years, we have seen so many more eagles. And it's great to see because they were going extinct uh, a few decades ago, but I'm thinking they're back in business, which is good to see. Not so good for Sully. We have to make sure we keep him on a tight leash because those guys will definitely want him for dinner. So I don't think you'd be that tasty. No, you don't have a lot of meat on your bones. You do have more meat than a bunny, though. Uh, yeah. I mean, look at this. Oh my gosh, I got an ear. I got an ear, I'm not gonna let go. No, 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 no. I'm not gonna let go. <laughs> Is that the eagle? It's kind of scary. So, up there, right there. There he is, there he goes. Yep, no food for you here, buddy. He was checking out Sully, wasn't he? We met somebody a couple years ago who said they saw an eagle grab a deer, like a small deer. And Sandy was the size of a small deer, so we've always been a little freaked out about both of our animals getting scooped up, but don't underestimate them. They're some powerful birds. Well, it looks like our dinghy's still there. It's always good news. Good to have a dinghy anchor. And I got the sticks for s'mores later because I think about that stuff. Hey, buddy. Oh my God. Hey, bud. That was a good hike, yeah. a good walk. It felt good. It always feels good after a long boat ride. Yeah. <laughs> Especially for you, bud. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on our next video when Sean goes for a dive to give Freedom a much needed scrub.
we discover our new favorite island and finally get around to making s'mores on the grill. See you next time. Thank you.